Hi, ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighbor, Tool Bear, back again here in the old den of tools. And today is Monday, February 6th. I think it's the 6th. Let's just roll with it. We're going to say it's the 6th. Anyway, that means it's time for, uh, actually, happy birthday to the missus. It's coming up here in, in just a couple days. My birthday actually just passed. Boy, we are getting old around here. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday to all my fellow Aquarians out there. But you know what that means. The best thing you can do for a birthday is deals of the week. Let's jump into it. We're over at the old Amazons. So what we got first, we got the DeWalt, the DWE7491RS. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Anyway, so what we got here is this is the 10-inch table saw withstand and wheeled cart kind of thing. This is the go-to one, I must say. I'm not a big fan of, you know, I'm not a big fan of compact table saws. Uh, and this one is a little bit bigger. Uh, the stands is way sturdier than some of those scissor leg ones. And on top of it, you know, the new ultra compact one there, they've reduced the size of the blade. It's now only an eight and a half inch, which means it's really only good for ripping stuff. This one's going to get you a lot more flexibility and use. It's $549. It's down from 15% from the list of $650. No one's buying it at six, but it hovers around that $600 mark a lot. So the if you've been waiting to get one of these, this is the one to get because I only see prices on this going up this year. Uh, now, next up, we got a rotary tool here from Westco. Now, Westco, of course, is a brand owned by Positech. This is their DIY level brand. Uh, that's Positech's the same people who make the new cat tools, the industrial grade cat tools. So they claim uh, <laughs> the uh, the works tool, which has been doing all sorts of innovative stuff and really upping their game, trying to bust into that prosumer rank. So this is their new DIY level, thirty-eight twenty-four. But there's also a thirty percent off coupon on that. What is it? Ten percent would be three eighty. Three three times three eighty. That's more than ten dollars off. That that's that's some some good math working in your favor there. Now this is a lightning deal, okay? So this means this thing's uh, you got ten hours left on it, and, or until it's all claimed. Once people figure out that that thing's got the coupon on it besides the sale price. Forget about that thing's going to be gone. It's got the case. It's got the tool. It's got, look at this. It's It's got the auxiliary handle, the flexible shaft, the safeguard, the, the, the cutting depth collet. It's got all the attachments and everything. That's a great pickup for under 30 bucks. All right, moving along. We've got a Bosch sale going on. All right, so all you Bosch people, you've been waiting for some deals. Here they are. We've got, look at the 12-volt combo for 100 bucks. we got dual batteries there for 6 bucks to go with that. we got some of the other combos. I'm not a big fan of the Freak. I'm just not. If you are, that's, we'll, we'll get you a 12-step program or something. Anyway, we got the Bulldog on here. That's a fantastic tool. And on top of that, look at this. we got this grinder. What a great workhorse grinder. Four and a half inch with the X-Lock. Ergonomic. Now, this is, of course, your corded kind of grinder. I mean, corded versus battery. Of course, you can get way better run time. Get it? Run time. $79 on that. But if you want the cordless, I also got you there. Check it out. We got the Bosch GWS 18V45. This is their 18 volt, four and a half inch angle grinder bear tool. <laughs> I'm just killing it today, aren't I? Anyway, bear tool over here. Look at that for $81.80. How about the five inch? The five inch is going to need, what does the five inch here? I didn't even click on that before I should have done that. Let's see what it says. And it says 178. We're going to say no on the five inch. We're going to go back to the four and a half inch and get that sale price on that, right? There we go. All right, let's talk about black and yellow. All right, if you're in like, I think I see this if you're in the atomic line and you're looking for a slim battery, this is a great way to go. Much better than those super cheap 1.3s. This is about the same pro profile on it. You're getting the 3 amp hour max lithium ion battery pack for $59. That's 58% off. Boy, those DeWalt batteries ain't cheap unless you can get them on sale like this. Let's talk hand tools, okay? Now, you know, one of my favorites, especially when we're talking Amazon, is Gear Wrench. And I have been hardcore on the search for like the best. The, the, just the absolute best screwdriver set out there. And I don't know if this is it, but I, I you know what? I do like it. I'm kind of leaning towards it. I don't know, but what do you think? $75.97, best price, I think, in like 30 days on this. You're looking at 20-piece Phillips, slotted, and Torx. That's a decent set. Gear Rich makes good stuff. You know, the original tool truck alternative. They're the guys who started the whole trend of fighting the tool truck prices and getting them down to the price that everyday bears can afford. I, I'm I'm kind of leaning towards that. But one, I'm not even just thinking about if I, If I didn't already have them, I would be all over this. And that is this set right here. We're looking at the Gear Wrench 
four piece. You're talking about a quarter inch, three eighths, and a half inch. And I'm, I'm thinking this little one down here is a three eighths stubby. Anyway, we're looking at, now look at, look at this. The description says 120 XP. But if you look at the picture, these are 84 tooth. So I'm not sure which one is right. I would do a screenshot when you order it to make sure you're getting what it says. And, you know, and Amazon, of course, is going to make it right either way. This is ships by Amazon, sold by Amazon, so they got to stand behind it. And it says 120 XP. Now, I don't know. I have the 120 XP. Actually, uh, Gearage sent me those. And I've got the 84 tooth. I liked the 84 tooth. I think they're fine. The 120 XP, they're smooth like butter. It's ridiculously smooth. That's it. It almost feels too smooth is that a thing am i overthinking this i don't know anyway don't forget we're gonna have links to all this stuff down below in the video description you just look right where it says the title and stuff and then it says like more click on that for the you new folks that's where you find all the links and whatnot so anyway let's keep going we got some more hand tools another one i'm a huge fan of is wera now wera craft form here this is their slotted ratcheting screwdriver now this is a nice one here 39.27 this is one of the best prices i've seen on this in a long time on it you got where it just makes some of the coolest screwdrivers out there i love them 39.27 that's a great deal on that one but my daily carry for screwdrivers is this one this is the craft form compact 25 piece pouch set here and you've got the extension on it it can either be used as short or or full extend so it can be a, not a stubby per se but just not a full extension there you got the same bit holder in there you got the little pouch that comes with it this is an awesome set. Now, $33, if you know, if you've been around, that used to be the high price, but a few years ago, the, it, everything moved up as people figure out what, how good wear it is. Prices are going up. It's an import, okay? It, it, imported tools like this from Europe, they're, they're going to go up in price. $33.57 is the buy it now price on this. Only two left in stock. You're going to be, if you don't move fast, you're going to miss it on this one. All right, next up. This, I, I had to, I just had to. The Lazelle, La I don't know how to pronounce it. I thought it was Lyle. I thought the S was science. Somebody said it was Lazelle. I don't know. What is the proper pronunciation of this? This is a 35170 pocket pry bars. I kid you not, little tiny pocket pry bars. And I looked at these and I'm like, eh, the screwdrivers. I use a flathead for this. And then look at these pictures and I'm like, maybe I'm missing out because this right here, I have to deal with these kind of clasps all the time when I'm working on my, my BMW and, and some of our other trucks. And I hate dealing with those things. And this just seems a better way to go than trying to get in there with a, a flathead screwdriver or some other contraption. And Cause I, I, I always terrified of breaking those tabs off, especially on the older stuff that's been down here in the Vegas sun and whatnot. It gets a little bit of brittle. Anyway, uh, however we pronounce the company, they make great tools and a two piece pry bar set for 1161. That's not a bad pickup on that. All right, let's move along. This is another personal favorite of mine. I And I don't even know where I got them. I, how, I don't know if they sent them to me. They just ended up in my toolbox. I, I probably stole them from someone accidentally. I don't know. The Egan P6 wire flush cutters. I love these things. They're, they're inexpensive. $7.96 is ridiculous. And, uh, and you get the two-pack, you, you save a buck on that with the two-pack. But anyway... The, uh, they're not, like, you're not going to be cutting nails with this. This, I would call this soft cut. I'd cut copper wire, maybe some thin, you know, hard, you know, hard metal kind of stuff. Uh, but they're, they say, you know, clean cut anything. I would, no, I wouldn't do that. But I would do softer and thinner metals. And for that, they're fantastic. They, just, they really have a good feel in the paw, if you know what I mean. Now, the Sunday live stream. You were there in the Sunday live stream. Every Sunday, we try to do a live stream. Uh, and, uh, you know, I get a lot of questions. And so if you're in the live stream, you can ask me questions. And if I can't find a deal for you or something, I'll look it up or I don't know off the top of my head and include it in the Monday deals of the week, such as this. Somebody asked me what tools I carry with me in the truck. Now, the, the company that I use uh, is a, called Apollo, and they don't even sell the set anymore. But it was based, it was a clone of this Crescent set. Pretty close. The difference is, uh, in my set, I don't have the side cutters and instead have a set of, of channel locks with tongue and groove. It's more akin to this set here from, who is this, Deco Pro, De whoever they are. But mine was very similar, although I have all I have three ratchets in mine. This, the takeaway is, this is not an everyday work set. This is a get-home set, and that's the way I look at these. And the price is about the same, $99.99. Now, if you decide to go with the Crescent set, I am going to say this. This is, if you're my age and older, 
This ain't the Crestman, or Crescent you Crestman. Boy, there was a Freudian slip. This isn't the Crestman you grew up with, either one of those. That said, it, they're not terrible. They're not terrible. They're just don't expect that really nice made in the USA kind of stuff because this ain't that. But what it is, it's a set that will get you home. And I like it because I drive a pickup truck. And with pickup truck, I can put it behind the seat, you know, in that little storage area. It's nice and slim, slides right down in there, along with all my other, you know, get home kind of stuff. Somebody asked me, like, what's your bug out bag? I, I My bug out bag is my, my house. All right. I, I'm a get home kind of person. I worry about being out somewhere and trying to get back. If I'm home and something happens, I, I'm entrenched. Come and get it. Anyway, that said, uh, either, I think you'll be fine with either of these. Just pick which one you think works better with the way that you're thinking. Uh, you know, I I can see going with either ones. I just like having, you know, as just the kind of a catch-all, that tongue, that big tongue and groove plier there. I like having that as a catch-all. Of course, you can pick up a good one and throw it in next to the set also if you want to go with the Crescent one. There's no one saying you can't. All right, let's move along. Beyond by Black and Decker. I kid. Look at this. Here's even an option to come with a label maker. This who who isn't having? I'm gonna. By the way, I'm coming out with my own storage kit next. <laughs> no, I kid. The bear kids. Everyone's got a storage kit. You know who's coming out with one? Klein. Klein is coming out with a storage kit. But here's the Black and Decker. Honestly, I'm not hating on it. It it doesn't look terrible. It. I mean, for the money, a hundred and twenty eight dollars. If you threw in some more options with that, you can get me a, a pair of sliding drawers and a tote on top, and a small parts box, uh, and I could, for the DIYer, I could see it. I could definitely see it. It looks very much like the Craftsman, doesn't it? Look at that. Tell me, of course, you know, Craftsman, Black & Decker, now owned by the same company. I mean, I'm not saying, but I'm saying. So, anyway, $128.87. All right, last one for over at Amazon. This is kind of a go-to if you've been looking for a good, like, traditional soldering gun kind of thing. Look at this. This is the Weller. This, they've been making these soldering guns for years and years and years. If you like this style and you've been looking for a pickup, $36, 47% off. Lowest price I've seen in a long time on the standard kit here. That's just 30, 36 just ridiculous price. All right. Let's jump over to Woot. Now, Woot is Amazon's sister company. This is their Deals of the Day site. We got the Origami three-tier collapsing two-pack shelves. These shelves are great. Why? Because they, you, know, you can put them together, add some zip ties on them. They'll act as one shelf. You have two shelves there. But look at this. Bump, top folds over. Sides pop up. Folds flat. You want portability. You want to move it around. You want to change how things are going. You want to take it somewhere else. Quick and easy to set up. Way easier than a lot of the other shelving that I've set up in the, over the years. For $130 for a two-pack of these... What's that? That's, uh, I don't know, you do the math. Uh, anyway, that's cheap. That's cheap is what that is. Anyway, let's keep going. Hey, by the way, since you're speaking at cheap, you know, I look up, a, I'm always looking up these deals every Monday for deals of the week and, and keeping an eye on other tool deals and stuff like that. And so Jeff and I have been talking and we started up a new channel. He started up a new channel because we run across a whole bunch of other deals that aren't appropriate for this channel. So we started the page called The Deal Source. Jump on your llama and head to the source, Deal Source. We got all sorts of great uh, deals that are just starting up. Uh, basically all sorts of stuff that we find that we think are cool. We got electronics, we got kitchen, we got... Amazon, don't buy this, buy that. Bed Bath & Beyond's going bankrupt. Can you believe that? Uh, they haven't declared it, but trust me. <laughs> they, they, they just pulled a Sears and all their creditors said, nope, we're not loaning you any more money. Bankruptcy comes next. Uh, anyway, go over there. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the, you see the little button right there. You can click that subscribe button. It'll be awesome. All right, let's jump over to the old Walmart. Check this out. They have updated the HyperTuff cabinet. Now, this is a great little tiny cabinet for the home gamer kind of stuff. Or, you know, Pro, it competes with Snap-on. Same grade as Snap-on. I'm, I'm joking. The bear's joking. But look at this. I like the color there with the black with the red trim. Nice little update on this. It's got the little hutch kind of thing here in the center. Makes a great little port area for, like, putting in your... Uh, uh, let me click on that. Putting your uh, power tools in there uh, to store those. A nice, easy access kind of thing. $119 on that. Uh, also... We got some Torin three ton uh, steel jacks here. Capacity and there's three ton for the pair, twenty three dollars and seventeen cents. Uh, unfortunately, they do not have any of the extra locking features. So, 
Uh, you know, you, you take take your life in your own hands on that one. Twenty three dollars. They're maybe good as a secondary set, or maybe just to prop some other stuff up. I use stuff like this, also these kind of jacks, on a utility trailer. So if I want the utility trailer to stay really stable, I'll put it under both corners. Maybe good for a setup like that. Uh, all right, let's jump over to Ace because Ace is the place for the help for hardware bear. We got the Dewalt twenty volt max. This is the sliding miter saw. In the seven and a half inch, believe it or not, seven and a half inch may seem like a small blade, but you put it on a sliding miter saw, it really ups the flexibility and usability of this. You add batteries on that. This is a take anywhere, cut anything, great trim kind of router. You're doing flooring, that kind of stuff. You, uh, this is a great uh, not router, <laughs> Cirque saw. It's a miter saw. Oh my gosh, miter saw. The twenty nine two hundred ninety nine dollars down from four forty nine, saving thirty three percent on that. Let's pop over to Granger. You want to talk about a sweet deal? I wish I could find more like this. We got the Milwaukee snack out case. I mean, pack out case. Sorry, my bad there. To a 934 overall width. Look at this thing for $20. For 20 This is a ridiculous price for $20. Bucks. Uh, it, my wife sees these, and she, she's been following that Pinterest meme kind of thing for snack out or whatever. Oh, my gosh. She, she, she would go full charcuterie with one of these things twenty dollars on this i gotta make better make sure she doesn't see this or my kitchen will be turned red with milwaukee pack out stuff 20 bucks on that one over at granger let's jump over to big orange we're at home despot uh usb this is the new ryobi four amp or not four amp, four volt i believe it is this is their their new uh hobbyist line we got a rotary tool a cutting tool a glue stick pencil kind of thing rather than like a glue gun and a carving tool now the difference between a carving tool and a rotary tool i apparently it's beyond me but uh they got you get the four pack there two batteries usb charging cables some accessories some glue sticks some carving tips all sorts of good stuff there for 120 bucks if you if you've been thinking about going that route maybe that's for you i saw these over the holidays I was like, I don't know, but a lot of people said they were excited about them. So here we go. Here's a deal on it. Let's talk about some more black and yellow. We got tool only on the 20 volt max XR Brad nailer, 18 gauge Brad nailer for $200. That's 28% off. This is a Goldilocks deal or Cinderella deal. My bad. Cinderella deal. It turns into a pumpkin at midnight here. It'll go back up to full price. Other one we got here. Again, another Cinderella deal here. 16 gauge angled finish nailer tool only again aka bear tool all right here's a fantastic deal if you've been looking to get into the automotive stuff somebody was asking what's the best ratchet out there and I, you know as i say if you're going pro you really have to consider the m12 fuel line look at this this is going to get you the ratchet and the impact driver there the you're getting the two batteries you're getting the charger and the bag the fuel is just ridiculous power for 12 volt it's insane 51% off, bringing that down to $239. Uh, next up, we've got this one here. If you're in the Ryobi line, you want the batteries. We've talked about this, but look at 6 amp hour. I think the deal we saw before is 4 amp, 2 4 amp hours. This is a 2 pack of 6 amp hour batteries. 50% off, taking it down to $139. Next up, we've got this. It is the crack smoking special. You can get two Milwaukee hats for $44, and that's 18% off. Special ends in 11 hours. Can't end soon enough if you ask me. Yeah, I get it. You're going to be like, but bear, it's made from work skin. It's made from snake oil. Uh, I don't care if it keeps you cool. I, I bought hats at like at the indie track for less than that. That is ridiculous. I'm, oh, I, I'm just, I'm beside myself. Stay drive safe out there. I get a worker a trucker cap that's been doing just fine for 40 years. That Oh, anyway, I'm moving along. Bear's angry. I'm irate about that. Let's go over to Direct Tools. This is so that's TTI, which again Milwaukee, uh, Rigid, and uh, Ryobi and Hart. Also, this is their clearance house. Uh, this is the official factory outlet here. They've got a deal going on right now with a bunch of their tools for Rigid. When you buy the tool, uh, you get this free two pack of four amp hour batteries. That's a heck of a deal right there. Here's an 18 volt subcompact brushless 3 8 impact wrench kit. So you're already getting a battery. You're getting a charger, you're getting the bag, and they're tossing two extra batteries in the bag with you for 150 bucks. There's a whole bunch more of these deals, and I will link to you know this one page right here, and you can scroll through it. I mean, look at that. They even have, check that out, 
18 volt watt you know, power inverter. Now I checked when I clicked on all these, they're all shipped to home. Now the power inverter is that, look at that. You're getting, you buy the power inverter for 80 bucks, you're getting the two batteries as well. <laughs> That's a ridiculous deal. Anyway, I like it. It's got the little flashlight built into the power inverter. You got a Type C, two Type A's, and the 120. Remember, you're not going to run anything high power off of it, but it's a nice little extra power, charge the laptop, that kind of stuff. All right, let's move along. Remember, I don't often show a lot of stuff over on the Ebays, but CPO sells through them, and they are an authorized factory refurbished outlet for men, most of the major brands, Makita included. Somebody asked about a good, solid workhorse grinder. This is a great choice. I love Makita grinders. Four and a half inch paddle switch. I love me a paddle switch. Great. It's easier to get the claws around. You know what I mean there? ACDC angle grinder. 9557PB certified refurb there for $50.99. That's 35% off of the list price of $78.99. That's a great grinder to get there. Um, anyway, uh, the what did ACDC? What did anyway? All right, let's move along. All right, now we're over at Lowe's. We got a Metabo HPT SDS Plus, SDS Plus, variable speed corded rotary tool hammer drill. Now this is a corded tool, but it is included. Who writes this stuff? Does nobody spell check or copyright? Anyway, the fact of the matter is it's a fantastic tool, $159. I don't know, are you getting two of them? It's an SDS plus an SDS and it's included. Anyway, 109 is $50 off. Ends today, February 6th. You better jump all over it. This is a fantastic tool. The Metabo HPT is one of those, what we call level four tool, or AKA a value pro. It's a value pro ba uh, brand. Now you've heard me say lifetime warranty as long as they're making the tool. Does not apply to this. That lifetime warranty is only for the lithium ion tools. I believe this comes with a three year warranty. Double check though, your mileage may vary on that just to be sure. Anyway, it is a fantastic tool for the price though. All right, let's move along. All right, we're getting to some of this. We talked about your mileage may vary. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the heart boxes are still out there. How, how, how are these still available? One of the viewers or one of our subscribers over on the Facebook page posted this recently and I'm like, he's got to be high. There's no way. He just bought them. All right. And there's more there. Look at this. We got the third, we got the top box and the bottom box. And they're like a hundred and something inch. Check this out. Look at this. I'm on BrickSeek here. You got the 36 inch wide. Da, da, da. Now, BrickSeek is currently having an issue with inventory, but they're but the prices are showing up correctly. This was a $450 box, $450 box when it came out. And I said, that they, they're nuts. They're, no one's buying this for 450 And apparently no one did. So they've been clearing them out. I don't, are they still ordering more of them? Because this has been going on for a year at this point. Because check this out. We come down here, $109. $109. 76% off. How are these still in stock anywhere? I, I, why have I not gone and bought them all? Maybe maybe that's going to be my, my chore for tomorrow. I'm going to hit every Walmart in the Las Vegas area and see if I can snag them all. I, I would do that, but it's tempting. It's to, here's the wood top. I like the wood top. Uh, uh, great work surface kind of area. That's why I really like it. By the way, these boxes, they have the, the power strip with the USB on the side. Love the blue on it. Soft closed drawers. This one, oh, let's see. Where is it? $124. That's just two stores are showing that they have it. Uh, again, the stock here availability is iffy, but my guess is if there's no price on it, they don't they don't have it. Uh, that just you're gonna have to go check it out now. I'm gonna put a link to this right here because it says check store. I'll be honest. Uh, I think you should just go to the store. If there's a store nearby, I don't know if I would drive across town to look for these. But if you're desperate at that price, it almost might be worth it just in the hopes of getting one of these boxes because they are nice boxes. They're not they're not pro grade. They're not snap on grade, but they're they're not even like U.S. general grade. But for the home gamer. They are fine. They're nice boxes. Four hundred dollars. This is, a, and I even liked the color, you know. But anyway, let's move along. How about this? We got a cobalt one for you over at Lowe's. The hundred and two piece SAE and metric polished chrome ratchet uh, mechanics set there. So you got the ratchet. You got some sockets. You got a uh, screwdriver. You got the case. Great little portable tool case there. Uh, normally sixty bucks. It's showing up again. This is your mileage may vary. Thirty dollars. That's fifty percent off. 
Got some got some birthdays coming up? We sure do. Maybe I'll get that for the missus. She'll love it. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, of course, I said I promised a generator. Boy, have I got a generator deal for you. We're back with the Westinghouse. We've talked about this one before. The 1250. That's 12,500 watts, okay? Now, this is dual fuel on top of that. Now, remember, if you run the propane on it, you're going to lose a little bit of gas, if you would. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm slap happy now with my puns. 1120, 11200 peak if you're running propane, 8500 running watt if you're running propane. If you're on the gas, 12500 uh, peak, 9500 that's a big generator. That's a solid. That's a whole home generator. And look at these options we have for power. We got four of the 120 20 amp. Those are 20 amp GFCI outlets. On the next to that, we've got a 120 240 30 amp. And the next to that, we got a 120 240 50 amp. You could run one of the big boy fifth wheels on this. Now, granted, because it's not a fully enclosed inverter generator, there are some places that might not let you run it. But you know what? If you're boondocking and stuff like that, it's all up to you. And you're out there in the great outdoors with tons of power and you got the AC going. Oh, roughing it the right way, right? Anyway, I know. When I was young, it was, you know, we would we would sleep in uh, used sleeping bags in the field and wake up covered in dew, freezing our you-know-what off. These days, uh, I'll, I'll take the RV. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I've gotten old and lazy for a bear. $800, though, is the price. That's 36% off. That is a redonkulous price. That's the lowest price. I've, As far as my data, that's the lowest price I've seen on it. If you've seen it cheaper uh, from a reputable seller, because this, we've talked about it before, some people get on Amazon being kind of scammy. Ships from Amazon, sold by Amazon. This is a deal and uh, yeah, free inside entryway delivery as soon as Thursday, February 16th. They can't have many of these. And remember, with these deals, when you jump on, a lot of people buy it all at once. That price will go up. Wait a day or two. And the price, and people will be like, well, I'm not going to buy it at that price. And it will cook itself back down. All right? So just you got to play the Amazon system right. If you're one of the first people to jump on and get it, good on you. All right. Deal of the week. You're not going to believe this one. It's the Rui, Rui tool. I never know the name pronunciation on this stuff, but we've talked about this handsaw. This isn't even the deal of the week. This is a great little handsaw. I'm a big fan of the Japanese handsaw. I've used a lot of, you know, let's be honest. You need a flush cut saw in the toolbox, right? And this is your Japanese style pole saw. These things, they're, they're incredibly accurate for cutting. I found, I don't know. I just think it's a better way to cut than like a standard rip saw. And for a flush cut saw, it's fantastic. $20, you're getting 20% off. That's going to be 4 bucks off, taking it down to 16 Good deal, right? Well, how about its big brother? This is the deal of the week. 10-inch, double-sided, single-hand saw, the SK5 flexible blade. So just like its little brother there, you got the flex cut, flush cut ability here. You got rip cut and cross cut blades, depending on which side you cut with. The blade itself is replaceable with the handle replaceable, whichever way you want to go with that. Check that out. It's $24. Not a bad price on that tool, right? Wait, don't order now because there's a coupon at 40% off. 40% off. That's almost almost half off because it's 40%. Anyway, $24. Let me see if I can do math in my head. 10% of that would be 24. Four times. I'm not going to do it. Anyway, it's a lot. It's a lot off. You do the math yourself. That's a that's your deal of the week. But wait, we're not done. We're going to cover some of the other stuff. This is one I just picked up for the RV here. We're down here in the RV. We're sitting down here for three months. Then we'll head back north. I wanted a little bit of visibility. We got some tools and some e-bikes and stuff around here. And we're in a nice RV park. We really are. But you know what? I couldn't pass this up. I'm a big fan of the Wise Cams. We got Wise Cams at home. Check this out. The new Wise Cam Pan and Tilt. Basically, this is the same camera as the version 3 in an even more weatherproof box. It's waterproof. I believe it's IP, IP65 rated. 1080p Pan Tilt Zoom. Wi-Fi. It's insane. Color night vision, two-way audio, compatible with She Who Shall Not Be Named, and Google's version of the same, which is not nearly as good. Uh, in classic white, it can be standing, it can be uh, uh, hung upside down. Uh, it's 
it, I've, I've got this, and I've got a video coming out on this. It's ridiculously good. Uh, it'll track. If the, the kids are totally freaked out by it because they, they'll walk by and they'll sit there and they'll pan and look at them. They're like, it's watching me, Dad. I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. Anyway, you, the, the thought, if you've been following security cameras, of getting a pan tilt outdoor 1080p color night vision IP65 rated camera for under, that these things used to be $1,000. $40. But wait, don't order now. I'm not even, because look at this. I'm going to send you over to Wise because Wise has got it for $34. That's the same price as the, the, the basic V3. And you're like, well, I don't know if I want to use Wise. I want to order through Amazon. Fine. Buy it with Prime right here. It's what I did. It takes you through, buys it with Prime, ships it at that at the $34 price. Look at look at the two pack. I should have bought the two pack. I wish I bought the two pack. I might buy the two pack just so I can have three of these because these things are awesome. I, I'm gonna have a whole video on it. Speaking of other videos we got coming up, we got another e bike the mock wheel. I would I thought this the name the name I mean mock. Come on, it means fake, right? The fake wheel. Uh, no, this thing is the for real wheel. This I could not believe the build quality on this thing. The the kids are beside themselves. Uh, it can it can hold so many of the likes of me down to the little kids. It's fantastic. So we got a video coming up on that. Of course, we got I've uh, reached out or the guys from Cynix actually reached out to me after talking to them at the National Hardware Show this past week. We're gonna be talking about them. I I did I begged them. I'm like I they said, Kate, hey, can we send you some tools? I'm like, can you send me a coffee maker? Because you know Makita has been owning the market for the cordless coffee maker, and they hinted that they make this coffee maker for another major brand i wonder who it could be but get this their version not only does it have the battery in the back it's dual power it's 110 also that's awesome a job site coffee maker if you're into the hot brew that can do not just battery but 110 and I, if you saw my video on the uh, the impact driver it was phenomenal i couldn't believe that a company i've never heard of could come out with a line of tools this solid it's ridiculous. So we're going to be working on that. And then lastly, we also got in the Durofix. We showed them at SEMA. Well, they sent me their earth-shattering 1,500 foot-pounds. <laughs> there should be an asterisk on that. 60-volt cordless half-inch brushless jumbo impact. I'm going to have to take it out into the nuclear testing area out here in Nevada because I don't want there to be any, you know, peripheral, you know, injuries. You know, we get, there's going to be an impact zone when at that 1,500 pounds hit. Okay, the bear kids. I'm being a little sarcastic, but I am going to give it a shot. And we got a. We're going to do a collab with some special friends of ours who are going to really put it to the test and give you, uh, let you know just how many beans it's going to have. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Make sure you've liked, you subscribed, smash that button, ring the bell, or you know who doesn't believe you. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless, and as always, shine on.